Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Badger Plays VR. Today, we are reviewing the action-packed virtual reality arcade shooter that is Arc and Aid. Developed by Castello Inc. and published by Beyond Frames. Arc and Aid was released on Steam VR in March 2023. You'll find the link in the description and there is also a native Quest 2 version available in the App Store, also linked in the description. Today, I'm going to be playing on the Steam VR version. What is Arcanade? Well, for me, Arcanade is a trip back down memory lane to the era when my virtual reality dreams originated. Some of you would liken this to being transported into the world of Tron, but for myself, my virtual reality journey started with the Lawnmower Man. Arcanade transports you back into a retroistic future, a pure virtual reality shoot em up at heart, with an emphasis on becoming the best and getting placed on that leaderboard. Replay value is high with this one. From the moment you stand in front of the arcade machine in your basement, you are constantly shown the high score leaderboard. Once you begin, you will keep coming back until your name shows up. This is how arcade shooters should be. Before being transported into the machine, you have a choice of gaming modes. The first is a standard arcade gaming mode with multiple levels. Each level you have to blast your way through, not forgetting to keep Ark safe from enemy fire. You share the same health, so if Ark dies, then so do you. Along the way, you have access to many power-ups scattered throughout the level. In order to get them, you have to shoot the little squares. This replaces your standard auto-firing pistol with either a shotgun, machine gun, grenade launcher, and even a laser. At various points, you'll also be able to gain health. You'll need it, because bullets and enemies are aplenty. And there's even a shield which you can hold in your left hand. And don't forget, pick up all the extra times you can, because you are going to need it. You are on limited time, and there is a big wall behind you, which keeps you moving forward. Once you get through the levels, you are treated to some fantastic boss characters, each with their own individual way of being defeated. One way or another, you have to work out or you will die trying. Struggling? Then hold on, because I'll be showing playthroughs in the future. Our second mode is Arena. Here, you are transported into a Colosseum, where you must survive an onslaught of enemies. Both troopers, ships, cannons, and giant tentacles. They will attack you, and they will attack Ark. So keep Ark safe at all costs. Survive as long as you can and get to the top of the leaderboard. The final mode is Wave. Standing on a floating platform, you are propelled forward in place. You need to shoot down enemies as quick as you can while dodging left and right and ducking under obstacles that are placed in your way. This is a shooter on rails, again with an emphasis on being the best. For the £7.19 I paid on the Steam Store, this game is a masterpiece. The environments are beautiful, the gameplay is smooth, the action is full on, the enemies are well thought out and varied. A lot of TLC has gone into the development here. Arc and Aid is well suited to virtual reality, and for me, it really brings together all the elements of what makes a great game. It's simple. It's beautiful, and it wants you to be the best. It compels you to come back to the origins of gaming, the scoreboard. Unleash the champion inside of you and go back to where gaming began. Arcanade gets a five badger rating from me. A five badger rating. <laughs> this, this is my new home. Right inside this little neon retro world of goodness. So, thanks for watching.
please subscribe, like, comment, check out the game, and stay tuned for some more gameplay. Because I'm going to be playing this for a long time. See how many nods you can find to some 80s film classics. Personally, I was impressed what I feel was a little nod back to the Predator.